Good day everyone, my name is Kenneth D. Velasquez, a student nurse from Davao Doctors College. So today, we are going to perform a complete bed bath to our patients today. So complete bed bath involves washing the entire body and it is a good time to inspect a patient's skin for redness or any sores. And also we must pay special attention to the skin folds and bony areas when checking. So the materials that we are using today are, of course, the basin or tank with warm water, preferably between 43 degrees Celsius and 46 degrees Celsius here. And also we need to have a soap. Next will be the linens, specifically a bath blanket here, two bath towels, as you can see, and of course the washcloth here and of course a clean gown so also we need to have the additional bed linen and towels if necessary and also we need to have a clean gloves this is surgical and sterile and for the precaution or presence of body and fluids or open patients of course we also need to have personal hygiene articles just like this deo or this powder or this moisturizer here or lotion and of course we need to have a shaving equipment just like this and of course table for bathing equipment or the overhead table for the patients so since we don't have a t overhead table we just need to, to improvise using this mini table here and of course, we also need to have a laundry bag just like this. This is improvised laundry bag, a laundry cellophane bag, and a laundry hamper since we don't have that specific laundry bag. And of course, lastly, we need to have a possession of this bed pan so that we can use this one later. So that will be all the materials and completeness and organization of our equipment will ensure our capabilities as nurses. So after that, we need to, to perform hand hygiene and wear gloves before performing the procedure. So now, since we are done performing our hand washing technique, we can now start introducing ourselves to our patients and of course, after introducing ourselves and securing the privacy of the patients, we can now start wearing our surgical gloves. So, um, prior to performing the procedure, um, introduce yourself and verify the client's identity using agency protocol and explain to the client what you are going to do, why it is necessary and how he or she can participate. Also, we need to discuss with the clients their preferences for bathing and explain any unfamiliar procedures and provide privacy for the patients. So, hello sir, my name is Kenneth D. Velasquez, your student nurse for today. So, may I um, look for your wristband, sir? May I ask your full name, sir? Oh, may I ask your birth date, sir? Okay, thank you, sir. How about your age? Okay, thank you for that, sir. So, um, now, sir, we are going to perform a complete bed bath. So, in a healthcare setting, sir, I just want you to be informed that we do have three different types of bed bath. That would be the complete bed bath, the partial bed bath, and the tub or shower bath. So, um, as I have said earlier, sir, we are going to um, use the complete bed bath. And complete bed bath, sir, is that we are going to wash your entire body. So, do I have the authorization, sir, or permission to, um, to continue in assisting you with this procedure? Thank you for that, sir. So, also, sir, I just want you to be informed that I am going to touch all your skin here from your head. To toe and of course I'm going to use this materials here and so this are this are sanitizer you don't have an, um, anything to worry about that is that okay is that all sanitized? 
Yes, sir. Look open. Yes, sir. Of course. Okay, sir. So, are you comfortable if I touch your skin? Okay. Thank you for that, sir. And also, sir. Um, by any chance, I just want to ask, sir. Have you undergone any X-ray or physical therapy? No. No. Okay. Thank you for that, sir. So, since we are done here, um, by the way, do you have any other questions? Did it take time to take a bath? Oh, for this procedure, to a, a complete bed bath, the time frame for that will be 15 to 30 minutes only. Okay, so do you have any other questions? I'm not comfortable with the position. Do you have a position? You have nothing to worry about this, that, sir, because um, prior to performing this procedure, we are going to make you comfortable in the next step, sir, okay? okay. Okay, so do you have any other questions? Okay, so since you um, have not, and thank you for your cooperation, sir, I'm going to secure your room first, okay? So I'm gonna going to lock this door, and then I'm going to bring down this court curtains for your privacy, sir, because um, parts of your skin will be shown. And how about the temperature, sir? Are you okay with this? Yes. Okay, so do you have any other questions? Okay, so after that, since we are done introducing ourselves, we can now wear our gloves and start the procedure. So next, we need to, to offer the bed fan or the urinal as the client's void. Because warm water in the activity can stimulate the needs to void and it will prevent the risk of accidentally soiling the bed clothes, which can be an embarrassing moment or situation for this procedure. So, sir, would you like to get to pee or not? No. Okay. So if you would like to pee, sir, just uh, tell me, sir, okay? Okay. Okay. So um, after that one, we need to, to prepare the bed itself and so also position the client appropriately. And in this procedure, we need to raise the bed to a convenient working height and lowers the side rails near the nurse which is me and assist the patient to the side of the bed and if you are in a hospital setting. So this procedure is very important because this avoids undue reaching and straining and promotes good body mechanics and it also ensures client safety in this procedure. So Sir Miles, so since you have ever mentioned that you are not comfortable in your position, so I'm going to assist your body in a upward monitor, okay? So that we can elevate your head so that we you have you will be having a nice position sir okay okay sir so i'm going to touch you now okay sir so since we um elevated your body um you are now in a comfortable position right or or not yes okay so um after that um Next, so we need to place the bath blankets over the top sheets and also remove the top sheets from um, under the bath blankets by starting at the client's shoulders and moving line and down towards the client's feet. So the bath blanket provides comfort, warmth, and a privacy for the patient. So now we're going to use this bath blanket. This is white. So. With this bath blanket, sir, um, I'm going to um, use this as a new top sheet, which is this one. And, uh, sir, is it okay, sir, if you hold this one, if you grasp this one? Just hold this one, sir, so that I can take this one. So are you comfortable enough, sir? Good, sir. So is the temperature okay? Yes. Okay. So Pardon? are you good, sir? Pardon? Okay, sir. So I'm going to put this in the laundry bag. So after, we will be removing the patient's gown and if your patient has intravenous line or any injuries for any reduced mobility, 
begin on the unaffected side and okay sir so i'm going to take off your gown now okay so i'm just going to slide this down can you move your arms here sir okay sir so are you comfortable again i'm going to take it off sir is it okay okay so let me just put it here the side okay sir so So again, sir, um, is the temperature okay? Can you please move the side here? The side. And this is where you can now. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. I'm going to this one. So after that procedure, next is that we need to fill in the basin with two-thirds full of warm water and let the patients check the temperature of the water and make sure that the patients can tolerate it. So I have measured this one. This is 43 degrees Celsius. So sir, um, can you test the water please? Is it okay? Okay, so thank you for that. So after that, uh, we will be removing the patient's pillow if the patient's condition allows and raises the head of the bed to 30 to 45 degrees before washing the face of the patient. Okay, sir, so now, um, is it okay if I remove your pillow? Okay, sir, so I'm just going to assist you with this. Just head you or lift your head up, sir. So, um, are you comfortable, sir? Yes. I'm just going to place this one here so that okay sir so are again sir are you comfortable in your position mm -hmm. okay thank you sir so um after that procedure in washing the face of the patients place the towel appropriately first towel is that under the patient's head and the second towel in is over the patient's chest so now sir we will be using this towel. So first, um, this towel, sir, the purpose of this is to deter the spread of the microorganisms, sir, okay? So is it okay, sir, if you lift your head for me, please? I'm just going to place this one fastly. Okay, sir, you can go back now. And also, sir, I'm going to place this towel um, above your chest so that we can deter again the spread of microorganisms um is it okay sir if i place you like this and are you comfortable sir how about the temperature again sir it's okay right okay, okay sir just give me a minute here okay so after that procedure, we must make a bath mitt with the washcloth because a bath mitt retains water and heat better than a cloth loosely held and it prevents ends of wash cloth from dripping across the skin. So now we will be finally uh, making a bath mitt for the washcloth. So I'm going to wet this one and dry this first thoroughly. Like this so in baking a bath mitts on um, first position your hands at the middle and then fold the left portion first and then fold again the opposite um, portion and then fold this one here and on top of this one and this is the bath mitts so um after making the bath mitts now um we will be um, we will be proceeding in washing the client's eyes with the water only and dry them well and use a separate corner of the washcloth for each eye because using separate corners um, prevents transmitting microorganisms from one eye to the other and wipe from the inner to outer canthus. Okay sir, so now I'm going to wipe your eyes with just water only, okay? So this will be your inner canthus here. And this will be your outer, okay? So I'm going to wipe this one and 
Do you have any other questions? Of course, sir. Thank you for suggesting, sir. Okay, so can you close your eyes for me, please? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So thank you for that, sir. And I'm just going to try this one first. So that we can... Okay. So um, after that so procedure, ask whether the client wants soap juice on the face and um, because soap has a drying effect and the face um, which is exposed to the air more than the other body parts and sense it to be drier and wash rinse and dry the client's face ears and neck so sir do you want to use a soap in this procedure in washing your face do you want to okay just give me a minute here sir This is also a mild soap syrup, okay? I'm just going to start. Your face is good, sir. Thank you so much. Are you doing skincare routine? Yeah. I see. Keep it up, sir. Thank you. Keep up with it. Mm. Okay, sir. So I'm going to proceed with here. Do you smell any fragrance, sir? Mm -hmm. Is it good or not? It's quiet. Mm -hmm. It smells good. But when is it so? It's dove, sir. Oh. It's expensive. Of course, sir. So how long have you been here? I've been here for 50 years, sir. 15, one, five. Just give me a minute. That's great. I'm going to try this one. Can you? You look like very happy, sir. <laughs> <laughs> because it seems like I'm just going to do Okay, sir. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. Okay? Okay, so after that procedure, after washing the face, we need to ask the clients if he would like to get a shave and remove um, after the towel from uh, the uh, under the client's head. So um, in this procedure, sir, um, I'm going to offer you a shave. Um, would you want a shave, sir? No, because I don't want to be here. I'm going to be yes, sir. I can see that, sir. Thank you for that, sir. By the way, and of course, sir, I'm going to remove this one since we are done in your face parts. And again, sir, I'm going to, just going to assist you. So, so um, after that so procedure for the unconscious, like for the unconscious patients, um, we need to, to wash the eye with the plain warm water starting from the inner to the outer cancers using um, like a new section of the cloth in each eye and of course, if prescribed. So now, um, it's after that, instill eye drop or ointments, and if there will be no blink reflex at all, keep the eyelid closed, and of course, place the eye patch or shield. So, for the unconscious patients, or for you to be informed, um, in washing the face, we do have a same procedure in the eye, but uh, we do um we do put the eye patch, okay? So um, after that procedure, we need to, let's proceed in washing the arms and the hands of the patient. So in this procedure, we need to expose the patient's forearm and place the bath towel lengthwise beneath the arm. And after that, wash, rinse, and dry the arm by elevating the client's arm and supporting the client's wrist and elbow. And of course, use long, firm strokes from wrist to shoulder, including the axillary area. And so take note that firm strokes from the distal to proximal areas promotes circulation by increasing venous blood return. And of course, also we will be cleaning the hands and nails of the patients. And this will be optional, but place a towel on the bed and put 
um, a wash basin on it and place the client's heads in the basin correctly. So, okay, sir, so since we are done washing your face, we are going to proceed in washing your arms, hands, and nails, sir, okay? Okay. So, okay, sir, so I'm just going to put this one here. Let me just borrow this one, sir, okay? Just let me unexpose this one. Help yourself, sir, okay? Okay. So, just give me a moment. So, I'm just going to place this towel lengthwise. Okay. So, I'm going to tuck this in here. How do you do What do you say, sir? So, it's your routine. So, you always do this? Yes, sir. In your So, um, after that, sir, um, just give me a minute. Of course, sir, after that, I'm going to place this one. So, if you could please, um, just position yourself at the side, sir. Thank you for that. And now, sir, please put your hands here. Are you comfortable enough, sir? Okay, just, I'm just going to... This one. Do you have any other questions so far? Okay. So since it's your 15 years, so when did your um, 15 years? Here? I think it will be um the next three months, sir. Okay. So can I start now, sir? I will start by cleaning your hands. So by the way, sir, you are. Nails are perfectly groomed. Keep up the healthy routine, sir, okay? So, just going to place this one here. So, how many patients do you always wash in a day? In a day, sir, um, I just wash for a complete bed bath for 5 to 10 patients, sir. Oh. No, sir, not having any words. What? Because uh, I have done this many years ago and I have mastered this procedure. And are you comfortable, right, sir? That will prove my um, efficiency, sir, as nice. Uh -huh. But I'm not back in sir. So now, um, is it okay, sir, if you place your hands under your head? So that I can wash your armpits. Just give me a moment. So in the axillary area, sir, you just need to wash this thoroughly. Okay, so after that, um, let us now proceed to the other arm with the same procedure that we have done earlier. A while ago, rather, and do not forget to apply um, any deodorants or powder if um, necessary. So, okay, sir. So, um, first, um, before applying this one, I'm just going to dry this one, okay? Two minutes. Oh, can you please then for a minute, sir? Are you comfortable, sir? Yeah. Okay, sir, I'm just gonna place this one here. Okay, sir, so um, by any chance, sir, what's, which do you prefer? The Johnson's powder or the Dove deodorant? Let's see, okay. Thank you for that, sir. Okay, sir. So, um, after all that procedure, I'm going to apply this, um, body lotion, sir, okay? Is it okay? Oh, no? I see. Okay. So, since you don't, uh, um, like to have a, any body lotion, I'm going to transfer in the other position, sir, okay? Okay. 
So let me just uh, first arrange this one and Okay, sir, so can you uh, thank you for the effort, sir? And now we will be doing the same procedure here lengthwise and then just like this. So, so and, and. and before that, sir, let me just get the basin. Okay, sir, so just soak your arms here, sir. <laughs> How do you feel, sir? It's nice to hear, sir, that you're that you feel great, sir. Yes. And now I'm going to face this one. So um, as I have observed, um, as you were saying, sir, I'm sorry. It's okay. So as I have observed, sir, you don't have any lesions or sores or any redness in your body, and mm -hmm. that would be nice. You have a fair skin, sir. Yes, sir, it is needed to be observed, sir, because we will be documenting it later. But uh, since you don't have any problems, skin or um, lesions or something, then it's okay, sir, we don't have any problem at all. Okay? Again, sir, um, I'm going to apply the O first. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. We just apply this one. And then I'm going to bring this back more. In. And just stay put there, sir. And of course. So since our bed is in a lower position, please observe body mechanics. Okay. It is now dry and secure its gear. And after that, I'm going to bring this one in the laundry bag and use another towel. So after washing the arms and hands of the patient, let us now proceed in washing the chest and abdomen of the patient. So first, we need to place the bath towel lengthwise over the chest and to fold the bath blankets down to the client's pubic area because this will be keeping the client warm while preventing unnecessary exposure of the chest and um, lift the bath towel off the chest and bath bathe the chest and Abdomen with your method hand using long firm strokes and uh, Okay, sir. So now um, I'm just gonna cover you with this towel and uh, Okay, so I'm going to remove this one sir. Okay just Give me a minute So now I'm gonna wash this one, sir. I just need to have a new wash towel. And how do you feel so far, sir? Sir? Okay. Just going to make this one nice and firm. And so I'm going to expose this one just to clean. Just going to rinse it first and apply the. Just 
so Okay sir, so are you comfortable? Now I'm rinsing the soap sir So um, after that procedure, if you will be having a female patient, give special attention to the skin under the breast and any other skin folds, particularly if the client is overweight. So after that procedure, let us now proceed in washing the legs and the feet of the patient. And in this procedure, of course, we need to expose the leg furthest from you by folding the bath, the blanket, towards the other leg being careful to keep the perineum covered. Um, it is because covering the perineum um, promotes uh, privacy and uh, maintains the client's uh, dignity. And of course, next, lift the leg and place the bath towel lengthwise under the leg and uh, we can now wet, soap, rinse, and dry the patient's farther leg from the distal to the proximal wash, to the proximal, uh, wash the feet and the toes. So, okay, sir. So now I'm going to clean your foot parts and your legs, okay? So, the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to expose this one, okay? So, in exposing this one, I'm going to cover your perineum area, of course, leaving the other leg unexposed. And after that, I'm going to this one under yours so can you please um I'm just going to tuck it in here so that we can prevent the spread of the microorganisms so um in this procedure uh, after that so we need to, to place this um basin in the patient's foot but before we do that let's make a Meet them first and okay. So, hello, sir. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, now I'm going to place this one and just give me a minute here. I'm placing this one in your feet, sir. Okay, so can you please um, reach this one here? The moment. Just a little bit down there. Sir. How do you feel, sir? Very good. So I'm going to start this one. And again, sir, um, your nails are clean. I'm just going to clean this better. And start here. How is the temperature, sir? It's doing great. Sir, I'm just going to. And by the way, sir, I'm going to ask permission first to wash your perineum area, okay? okay? So let me just grab the this soap here. Just give me a minute. So, by the way, sir, I'm applying lotion here. Um, is it okay? okay. Okay. So after that, sir, um, you can now grab this one and so position this one here, sir. I'm sorry. 
Bijas to bring this one here. And off we go. We can now try this one. Just try this one first. Are you feeling okay? Mm -hmm. yeah, just um, let me just crop this one soon. And after that, we're done in this part. So good job, sir. So um, I'm forgetting something. I'm sorry. So um, after that, we need to wash the other leg and of course we need to apply the lotion before um, proceeding to the other leg. So just give me a minute here sir. So since I have already asked permission, I'm going to apply this lotion here. And How do you feel sir? So after that lotion, we can now like this one and we can now proceed to the other position, sir, okay? So in this position, I'm just going to do this, the same procedures and I'm going to not expose this one. And after that, I'm um, just, just going to put this one here nice and clear. So that we can deter the spread of microorganisms, sir. And after that, I'm just going to get in the basin so that we can start the procedure. Uh, closer. Mm -hmm. uh, can you please uh, reach this one out? And so the basin is here, sir. You can now start putting your feet here. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So how do you feel so far, sir? I'm doing great. You're doing great, sir, okay? Okay. So let me just do this, sir, fast and nice. Your toes. So can you please grab this one? Okay, so just grab this one here and then sorry. Just going to grab this one again here. And after that, sir, I'm going to wash this one. Okay, sir. So now like, let's discover here and let us now proceed in your back area, sir. So, but before we do that, sir, I'm going to ask you to clean your perineal area, sir, okay? Okay. I'm just going to try this one. Let us now proceed with the soap, sir, okay? Okay. So, um, can you please uh, do me the favor, sir? for that so just wait sir I'm going to watch this one and of course can you please dry that one for me sir okay so thank you for that sir and after performing the washing in the foot and the legs of the patients now we must change our um, water here for cleanliness and I'm okay so I'm just going to change this one okay I'm going to be right back okay sir so I'm done changing the water and now sir um after that we need to, to wash the back of the 
patience at first is that we need to assist the client into a prone or sideline position facing away from you or from me and place the bath towel lengthwise along the side and back and the, the buttocks while keeping the clients covered with the bath blankets as much as possible. Second, wash and dry the clients back moving from the shoulders to the buttocks and the upper thighs paying attention to the glutes and gluteal folds rather and if patient's skin is intact removed and discard gloves and if used okay so now sir um what i want you to do sir is that uh, can you please um face in that side sir so that we can perform the washing your back are you okay sir yes okay sir so um are you comfortable mm -hmm. okay so um, what I'm going to do now, sir, is that I'm going to use this one and then just, I'm just tucking this one in. Are you comfortable again, sir? Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you slightly bend your... Okay. So, I'm just gonna wash this, sir, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, before I wash this, sir, do you have any other questions again? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, are you cold enough, sir? Is the temperature okay? Okay, I'm going to start here, sir, okay? So, after that, I'm going to rinse this one and use soap. Okay, sir, I'm going to expose your buttocks um, a little bit, sir, so that I can um, properly wash this, okay? Okay. Just give me a minute here. If this will be the case, sir, I'm going to touch this one here and then pat this one on your back and okay, just give me a minute here. Okay, sir, so I'm going to put this one here and then Okay, so next we need to perform a bath massage now or after the completion of the bath, but if the patients only ask. So, um, sir, do you want to, Sir Miles, um, do you want me to apply lotion and massage your back? Okay. okay sir, so I'm going to apply this one gently and firmly. Okay, sir, so um, let, let me just lean you further. The, so that I can massage your back properly. How do you feel, sir? Doing good. Okay, sir. Nice and clear. And so, are you okay now? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, can you please um go back here? Okay. It's going to assist you with this. So um, after that so procedure, um, after the bathing, we need to, to help the patients to put on a new, put on a new um, gown and check the devices attached to the patients and to comb, um, the, comb the hair properly. So um, if this will be the case, sir, just give me a minute. Okay, sir, so now I'm going to, um, I want you to wear this new gown. This is and it's size properly sir okay so what i want you to do sir is that uh, please um and no sir um uh, just give me a minute please uh, bring this one here sir and, uh, 
first. I'm going to read this one from here. And to your back. And look you so you can bring it down now. And the opposite sides to your face. Okay. So let me just bring it here. So now, um, Sir Miles, I'm going to change your top shape with this one, okay? So, let me just pull this one through here. Okay. So, let me in here. So that I can do this thoroughly. this one I'm going to comb your hair with this one okay is it okay okay sir thank you for that so now place the signal device near the patient and um, does the aftercare of the equipment and also and after that after performing the proper hand hygiene perform um, documentation and reports for any pertinent observations. So this is the very last step, sir. And uh, again, sir, thank you very much for your cooperation. And do you have any other questions, sir? Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. So if this will be the case, I'm going to leave my screen Just going to throw this one, sir. So, um, for you to be informed, sir, I'm going to document my findings here, and for you to be informed also that the um the nurses and the doctors have the only access here, so it will be confidential, okay? Okay. So, if this will be the case, sir, I'm just going to that this one again here. And do you have any other questions so far? No. Hmm? No. Okay, sir. So, so thank you again for cooperation. And so now I'm saying goodbye, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir.